Hi there, thank you for stopping by to share with Julie today. I hope you're having a fantabulous day today. Today I'm looking at some herbs, you know, that can help women with fibroids. Some of these herbs I've taken myself and I've found them quite useful. And these herbs include herbs that will, you know, work together to shrink the fibroids, tone and strengthen the uterus, improve circulation in the area and so forth. So let's look at what we have. So first up is red clover. Red clover will work to shrink tumors. It's a blood purifier and it also aids the nervous system. Power the arco power the arco root. Um, it works to shrink tumors. It's a blood purifier. It aids in limb congestion and also candida. Next up is chaparral. Chaparral shrinks tumors. It helps with prolapse uterus, venereal disease, bladder and kidney problems. Saw palmetto. Saw palmetto helps to shrink tumors. It helps with kidney problems. It's a diuretic. It helps to break down mucus in the respiratory system. Chase tree or vitex. The chase tree berry is used as a menstrual regulator. It improves circulation and tones the female organ and also promotes the production of progesterone. Next up, black haw. Black haw is used as a uterine and muscle relaxant. It's an astringent and analgesic. It helps with menstrual cramp and is also used as a uterine tonic. Red raspberry leaves. Red raspberry leaves are used for heavy menstrual periods, uterine trauma. It's used as an astringent and also a uterine tonic. Shepherd's Purse. Shepherd's Purse is used for uterine bleeding. It's a hemostatic astringent and also a diuretic. Stinging Nettles. Stinging Nettles is high nutritive and mineral content. It can aid with PMS and it's also a mucosal and alkalizing astringent. Dong Quay. Dong Quay root is used as a menstrual regulator. It's used for fibroids, menstrual cramps, PMS, and female hormonal balance. Peony. Here I have pictures of the red and white peony. Peony is used for abnormal periods, abdominal pains. It's also used as an astringent and for diseases in women. Black cohosh. Black cohosh is used for, as a female tonic for menstrual cramp and for uterine disorder, but it should be avoided during pregnancy as it can induce labor. Blue cohosh. Blue cohosh is used as a female tonic. It also helps to improve the tone of the uterus. This is by no means an exhaustive list, but these are some really great herbs to help you on your way of shrinking fibroids, toning, and also strengthening the uterus. So there are your herbs and 
just remember when you're buying herbs, try to get organic or wild crafted herbs. You know, these are, are better because they're more pure, you know, they, they, they're more, more pure. So try to get those herbs, you know, and if you can grow your own, that would be great also. And, you know, I hope you found this useful. Subscribe to my channel, like and share my videos. And don't forget, be the change you'd like to see in this world. Have a fantabulous day today. Ta-ta.